What's up guys, so today I'm going to be unboxing my Zero skateboard deck that I got for Christmas. Zero is a super rad company started in the 90s by Jamie Thomas. I've always really admired Zero. They're one of the OG skate companies that's really stood the test of time. And Jamie Thomas is an absolute beast. So super stoked to unbox this board, show it to you guys, and then eventually ride it and let you guys know what I think about the quality of Zero skateboards. So let's check it out. Okay, so we got the box open. So first things first, pull this bad boy out and see what's happening. So sick. Oh yes. Love the blue. That thing looks so rad. Got a sick zero sticker. Super psyched on that. It looks amazing. Alright, I may have done something to my camera to uh, adjust the settings on accident, so if the video looks different from here on out, it's my bad. We've got our grip tape. I'm super stoked on this because it's mob clear grip tape. So you can see this board has the most insane like blue color to it. So this is gonna look super sick when we set it up with the clear grip tape and you'll still be able to see the like bluish green color on there when we set it up. So let's go ahead and put the grip tape on. I'm not gonna actually skate this yet until my current board breaks and then I'll actually put this on my trucks. But for now, we're just gonna set up the grip and then uh, talk a little bit about zero skateboards. So sick. All right, so before we set this up, I just wanna give you one good look at this. So yeah, here it is. We got the zero skull logo on the top. I love top graphics and I love putting clear grip on top graphics because personally like the bottom of the board gets messed up so quick but the top obviously is protected by the grip tape so I love top graphics and honestly you see top graphics way more than you see bottom graphics because you're skating with the board down so it gets me stoked to skate a board when I can see a graphic on top. I don't know how many of you guys watched the Nine Club but Jamie Thomas did a stop and chat episode a few months ago and he talked about how much time he takes to set up each deck because he felt like he was just skating each deck and they were, it was becoming kind of mundane. So now he dedicates a full half hour every time that he sets up the board just to like cutting the grip and decorating it to make each board feel, you know, like special or unique. So I'm not gonna take a half hour to do this grip job, but I am gonna take a little bit of extra time and I've got an idea of kind of what I want to do with this grip job. So we'll set this up and we'll see if my grip idea comes to life with this board. Okay, so we got our razor blade, we got our silver tool, so go ahead and set up our board. I'm actually gonna do the sticker on the bottom first. I've already got this right here, so I'm thinking maybe I wanna split the zero sticker and like put one half up here. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, so go ahead and peel this sticker. One reason I really like zero is because um, when I was a kid, I've never skated a zero beat before, board before but when I was a kid I would watch Toy Story and in Toy Story uh, the first one Sid the bad character he uh, he skateboards and he's riding a, a zero well he doesn't ride a zero skateboard he has a skull t-shirt on that looks exactly like the zero logo it's super nostalgic this logo is for me so that's one reason why I'm super hyped to be skating it all right so there's our skull and then I think on the tail all right and then I'm gonna put this part down here on the tail that's what we decided to go with so cut that sticker off now so we got part there part there I don't know maybe that's lame but got to do something different every time you set up a board I think so this is a nice sticker super nice stick yeah obviously we already got this up here so 
I didn't want to put it on the top. I thought it'd be too repetitive, but maybe this is too repetitive even. Maybe I'll take it off later, I don't know. So next with the grip, I'm gonna do uh, something a little bit different. So I'm gonna do kind of a like squiggly pattern and I'm gonna cut this grip into three parts. I'm just gonna go like that, do like a little fish tail. Do it in like three parts. There's one, and that's two. Let's go ahead. Got our little wavy sheets now. Dude, I'm having the hardest time today actually peeling off the adhesives. I had a, the hardest time with the sticker. I'm having the hardest time with this, and just as I say that, it gets even worse. Has this ever happened to you? Where you're peeling it away, and then that happens? That's literally never happened to me, but that's no bueno. We gotta figure out how to get that off. Maybe if we peel it really good from the other direction. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Leave it in the comments below if you like clear grip, or if you absolutely hate it. I know. It's not for everybody. I don't think it's for every board even, but certain boards I think it looks so sick on. So I think this board is gonna look amazing with it. All right, so now we're gonna get our middle piece, the one with both of the squigglies. And I need to make sure that I line this up right so it doesn't look stupid. I think I got it. So this is tricky. So you see, I've got this curvy right here. I've gotta match it up. What do you think? Did I do a good job? So we just got that little curvy guy right there. Is that stupid? I don't know. I'm, I'm new to doing these like, custom grip jobs. Normally I just do like black grip and throw it on there. But then Jamie Thomas got me thinking about it. Really like putting good energy into the board from the beginning. Um, I don't know. So the, the board is just filled with this good energy. Maybe that's kooky, but it gives you like a psychological advantage. Like you're stoked on the board when you look down. Look at that. See on all the edges. There's just residue. I think we'll be okay though, just because it's around the edges and I think we're gonna cut that off anyway, so. All right, so we got our sheets of the grip on there. So let's scrape this down and cut it out. With this clear grip, when you scrape it, you can't see that white line, because it's already white, so it's like, it looks like you're not doing anything, but hopefully that's good enough. I bought a $5 utility knife from the store. The last, like, three or four boards that I've set up. I've had like a super dull pocket knife or uh, one time I set it up with just like a key on my keychain. So that's been a nightmare. So hopefully today's grip job turns out super clean. Oh yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh boy. Caught away from me there for a second. we are this is what we got we got our little like uh, curvy pattern not sure if you you're into that or not but I think it's pretty cool I, I made this back this side a little bit thicker down here towards the tail so that will help me see you know front to back and whatnot without having to stare at my board for too long but we've got the classic zero graphic on the bottom so super stoked Loki kind of like a dream graphic there's just so many boards to choose from and so many awesome companies, but I'm really excited to be skating a Zero board just because, number one, uh, from my childhood, just Zero was OG. They started in 95, so that was a year after I was born. And beyond that, he's Stray Shoes. And this is Jamie Thomas's company as well. So he does Zero and he also does Stray. So I've skated so many Stray Shoes and I really appreciate, you know, Jamie Thomas's shoe company. So I'm excited to, you know, show some love to his uh, skateboard, the OG skateboard company, Zero. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. Super excited to skate this board. If you like these unboxing videos, let me know what you want me to unbox next, what products I should try out. Soon enough, once my current board breaks, we'll put this one on the trucks and get it rolling. So appreciate you guys watching. I hope you had a happy new year, and I'll catch you soon. Peace. It don't even matter, yeah. yeah.